Hi students, welcome back to this question. You see, evaluate integration 0 to pi by 2 sin square x by 1 plus sin x cos x dx. Here, this question, we are supposed to do the problem based on the different integrations. See, we have known the property, definite integrations properties, what is that? Integration a to b, f of x dx. Integration a to b, f of x dx. If you apply that property, then you can do this problem very easily. See, the property I'm going to write it here, please look. See the property, which is a to b, f of x dx, which is equal to a to b, f of a plus b minus x dx. Now, if you apply, see, the given integral I'm taking at is i i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 sin square x divided by 1 plus sin x cos x dx. Now, integration 0 to pi by 2, I'm applying here a value as 0. So, I'm taking this is a and this is b. So, if you apply that one, it become now sin square 0 plus pi by 2 minus x divided by 1 plus sin of 0 plus pi by 2 minus x cos of 0 plus pi by 2 minus x dx. At starting, I'm taking this is number 1. Then, see when you're applying this one, integration 0 to pi by 2, see it's sine square 0 plus pi by 2, nothing but pi by 2. So, sine square pi by 2 minus x divided by 1 plus sine of pi by 2 minus x into cos of pi by 2 minus x dx. Now, integration 0 to pi by 2. So this becomes sine square 90 minus theta. So cos of square x divided by 1 plus sine of 90 minus x. This is 1 plus cos x into sine x dx. So this is also i, number 2. See, now we'll take it from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2, then i plus i, which is equal to you will get 0 to pi by 2 sine square x divided by 1 plus sine x cos x dx plus integration 0 to pi by 2 cos square x divided by 1 plus sine x cos x dx. Now, 2i is equal to what you can write it integration 0 to pi by 2 See, as the denominators are same, then what you can write it? 1 plus sine x cos x. And numerator will be sine square x plus cos square x. After doing the LCM, numerators can be added. Now, as we know that trigonometric angle sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, 2i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2. This is 1 divided by 1 plus sin x cos x dx. See, side by side what I am carrying, this two also I am carrying this side. So, when I am carrying this two, it become 1 by 2. So, now these two multiply inside. i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2. 1 by 1 plus, sorry, 2 plus 2 sin x cos x dx. Because we are multiplying with the two inside. Now, see, i is equal to, I'm writing as 0 to pi by 2, 1 by 2 plus, it is looking like 2 sin x cos x, I'm writing sin 2x dx. Sin 2x dx. Now, see, which we know that sin 2x, see, such kind of problem, see, like I'm going to tell you, 1 plus sin x, 1 by 1 plus cos x, and 1 by sin x plus cos x. 
such kind of models that you see. Please con uh, this one convert in terms of tan. Tan to data formula. Or sin to data formula. Cos to data formula. So anyhow, what I'm trying to say, this sin x, cos x, whatever if you notice, please try to convert them in terms of tan. Now what I'm going to write it here, sin to x, I'm writing the formula 2 tan x by 1 plus tan for x. So I have to write it. So when I write it, i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2, 1 by 2 plus 2 tan x by 1 plus tan for x dx. So 2 tan x by 1 plus tan square x dx. Now, I can write like simplified one, like uh, what do you say this taking LCM. So when I'm taking the LCM, that i is equal to, it becomes 0 to pi by 2, 1 by, say, this become 2 into 1 plus tan square x, plus 2 tan x, as after doing the LCM, the denominator which will come will come to the numerator. If you see clearly, integration 0 to pi by 2, say 1 plus tan square x, I am writing as secant square x, divided by 2 plus 2 tan square x, plus 2 tan x, dx. Now, See, now it is very easy. We can convert in terms of like tan x, or we can go for substitution method. See, when I, while doing the substitution method, 0 to pi by 2 integrals will be disturbers. So what I'm going to do, the 0 to pi by 2 time being, I'm leaving separately. Then I'm taking integral i1 is equal to secant square x divided by 2 plus 2 tan square x plus 2 tan x. So at last, I'll apply the limits then it is more comfortable because now if you are taking substitution method tan x is something else then the limit these limits also to be changed so the problem will be big now what i'm going to write it here tan x i'm going to take it as t so which i'm taking tan x as t then the integral i1 so numerator when you do the differentiation of this one second square x dx is equal to dt. So now numerator will be becomes dt by, so 2 I am taking out overall, so 1 plus t square plus 2t. I'm sorry, t, because t we have taken out already. Now, I have to do as a completing square method. So integral i1 is equal to Say 1 by 2 integration dt by people have a problematic like uh, while doing that uh, completing square method. See, this completing square method also very, very easy. See, first if you are writing d square plus t plus 1. See, this t, this is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, here already a value is t and here premier b value as 1. So, what you do, take b by 2 term. So b by 2 term and add b by 2. Yeah, b by 2 whole square. Subtract b by 2 whole square. So it becomes t plus 1 by 2 whole square. Then adding and subtracting 1 minus 1 by 4, it is 3 by 4. So totally it becomes t plus 1 by 2 whole square plus 3 by 4. Now i1 is equal to 1 by 2 into integration dt by t plus 1 by 2 whole square, which I'm going to write it root 3 by 2 whole square. So now, if you see clearly, it is looking like in the formula 1 by x square plus a square dx is nothing but is nothing but 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So if you apply the formula here, I1 is equal to 1 by 2 
1 by a 1 by root 3 by 2 tan inverse d plus 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 now here 2 2 gets cancelled so i1 is equal to 1 by root 3 then inside t plus 1 by 2 we can also do the lcm 2 t plus 1 by root 3 2 2 gets cancelled directly i'm doing here now t stands for on the top we have taken t stands for tan x so now please write that one also so i1 is equal to 1 by root 3 into tan inverse 2 tan x plus 1 by root 3 now at starting so till here tan x terms has come so at starting here in terms of like uh, in, uh, limits of the 0 to pi by 2 so now I am supposed to take the limits now. So now totally that integration I have taken i. So i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2. Now you can write it. That is I have taken i1, right? So 1 by root 3 tan inverse. I am sorry, already we did integration, right? 0 to pi by 2, 2 tan x plus 1 by root 3. We have done already integration. Only limits we are supposed to apply. 0 to pi by 2. Right. Now, so now, <clears throat> we have to apply the limits. Now, 1 by root 3 will be taken out. Then, tan inverse apply the first 2 tan 2 tan 90 so tan 90 value tan 0 0 tan 90 in, infinite so infinite plus 1 by root 3 so infinite plus 1 by root 3 what will get it now that is also totally it is infinite it is undefined minus tan inverse so tan 0 here yeah, tan 0 0 2 into 0 0 plus 1 by root 3 now, when you apply tan inverse 1 by root 3 into tan inverse infinite is pi by 2 minus tan inverse 1 by root 3, it is tan 30 degrees. It is nothing but pi by 6. So, 1 by root 3, do the LCM. The LCM, what equal to 6? Then, 3 pi by 6 minus pi by 6, which is 1 by root 3 into 2 pi by 6. 2 1s are, 2 3s are. So, pi by 3 root 3. This is our answer. This completes our solution. Clear? Right.